<laughs> Good evening, y'all. It's Sunday evening, late October in South Alabama. We're on Jamie's back porch. Again. <clears throat> Again. We're going to be back on the grill hill soon. We're going to fry up some taters. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and drop them taters in the grease there. We're also going to fry up some nature's own honey wheat bread. We're going to dip in some buttermilk. We're going to dredge it in some seasoned flour, and then we're going to put it in the fire. We're going to do the same things with this Dave's Killer Bread Thin Sliced Organic. White bread done right. Now we've already done a little bit of potatoes. We're getting covered because yeah. it's you know flies around. Yeah. So, so we're gonna film this introduction part. Then I'm going to be behind the camera for a change. Yes. We'll film James cooking some steaks yes. on the 22 inch blackstone. Yeah, we're gonna do uh, seasoning with some butter and some uh, yeah butter and bacon, onions, yeah. blue cheese, stuff like that. So. so we'll be back in two and two. Yeah. See y'all in a few. All right, folks, we're back. Hey, y'all. Got the black stop. Black stop. Black stop. Blackstone 22 heated up. Um, by the way, the uh, segment previous to this, no sound because the new cameraman didn't know what the hell he was doing. But we'll tie it down in there what we were doing. Boy, yeah. Hell. Yeah. We'll I'll tell you now, we, we dip some bread and buttermilk and then dredge it in seasoned flour and fried it. Yes, that's what we did. We did uh, Dave's Killer Bread and we did Nature's Own uh, Honey Wheat. So. Man, look at those rib eyes. And this is my first time doing these on a flat top, y'all. So. Yeah. Look at them rib eyes. And those are seasoned with Montreal steak seasoning? A uh, little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of, um, yeah, the one you said steak yeah. seasoning. Because that's what he always uses is Montreal steak seasoning, which is kind of a, a timeless standard, a timeless classic, shall we say. I'm gonna throw all this back on here and heat all this back up, y'all. This is nothing but bacon and onions. Yeah, that's bacon and onions. And y'all, if I don't hold the camera as steady as him, because I'm not a cameraman. Yeah, as we know, because there wasn't any. I asked him if the thing was on. It's my fault for not checking. Nah, we're gonna blame it on the helping hand. He wasn't here. So yeah, we're Called gonna leave. Called you that... out, bitch. Called you out. We're gonna leave all that right there. Oh my gosh! Look at the cereal. And there. I know some of y'all. I'm gonna turn the heat back up a little bit because yep. I have never done it on these, but I flip <laughs> steaks, so. y'all. Yeah, that's it, it's all a preferred thing. I cook steaks totally different than he does, but he can definitely outstake me on any given day. Yep, that's on low, so. Well, I don't I'm, know, man. I've never done it on a flat top. So. I'm a technical steak cooker, you know. I have to have an internal probe thermometer and all that, you know, and I time it and I get really geeky on it. 
When we get close to the end, we're going to add a little bit of butter, a little bit of blue cheese. It's going to kind of melt in when we get down to the end. Butter? Butter. Butter. And we're going to throw yours on in a little bit because yours is a little bit thinner. Yours is going to cook yeah. faster. I had to uh, go buy mine locally, so there was no decent ribeye, so I opted for a New York strip, which I seasoned with a beef rub that I put together and uh, basically <laughs> salt, pepper, onion, garlic, smoked paprika. <laughs> Dead beef rub. A <laughs> little, little bit of cayenne pepper. A little bit of brown sugar. You know, for caramelization. We might put yours over here on this low side. All right. Do whatever you want to do. Let's try that. Oh, by the way, y'all, if you've never fried bread, you got to try really, it. It's really, really good. You got to try it. And my finger really hurts. Look at that. Yeah, we had a grease malfunction. Something popped. Somebody decided to throw a dough ball in the grease. I'm not going to name any names. <laughs> James. I said, hey, you think this will work? What did you say? I don't know. Let's try it let's out. Let's try it. Apparently, it not worked. So. It not worked. That is a good looking New York strip. Those ribeyes look amazing. It's hard to find a good ribeye. You got to get that marble, that connective tissue and intramuscular fat. Is this going to be like really shaky as shit because you're holding it with your broke arm? No, my broke arm is steady. I mean, it's got a cast on it to hold it steady. And we are having a uh, peace of mind farmhouse. Yes. Was it Cahaba Brewing Company? Uh, Catawba. Yeah, C Catawba. Is that like the worm? Yes, it is. <coughs> now, you can turn around and show it to everybody if you want to talk to them. Yeah. Well, you know. I gotta go back to that. Y'all don't let me make you dizzy. You know what? Y'all seen my face enough. You'll see my face when we're testing. I'm going to film right now. James is teaching me. Maybe eventually we'll get to where I do one cook, he does another. Well, like I said, I've never done these. But I will not let him throw dough balls in the hot grease. So. And y'all check out that little Blackstone. I mean, I'm, we're not sponsored by them. And, and no. My big flat top is not a Blackstone, but that thing is awesome. It's 22 inches wide. I want to say about 16 inches front to back. Grease traps in the back. You can see the grease dripping out of there now. That's awesome. Right Portable. There. Works on a little one-pound propane cylinder. And all you got to do is get your little spoon, dip you some grease Oh, yeah. Up. That thing is... I really, really like it. Really, really like it. Blackstone has some seasonings that we're going to try soon. We just got to go to the store and, you know. But see, we're old, we're lazy, and we don't want to go to the store. So, Y'all, we're going to sign off for about a beer. We're going to come back when we get all this plated and give you a little taste test. We'll give you a shot of that fried bread and uh, fried give potatoes you our opinion on that. Fried taters. We're going to have, like I said, there's going to be a little bit of butter some blue cheese some onions to top everything off with when we get ready to check them out so butter 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 we'll be back in a beer and a half all right folks steaks are done <laughs> got some blue cheese crumbles on them a little bit of butter on them i'm gonna cut this right down the center see how old james did like on I said, that flat I, top i haven't cooked one on a flat top so oh my goodness y'all look that is medium cool that is medium. That is a good, good medium. No, I have bacon and blue cheese on mine, y'all. How is yours, James? You tell me, man. Perfect medium. Yep. Perfect medium. Y'all can see that. Wow. Let's give them a taste. Yep. A little bit of onion, a little bit of blue cheese. Mmm. Oh, my God. Mmm. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Jamie can outstake me. We've got no problem admitting it. That's really good. You get some onion on yours? No. You get some onion on there, buddy. Y'all heard that? That's dad over there. Got a piece of onion right there. A little bit of blue cheese. How many pieces of the bread? I'm in Dave's. With that one, right? That's Dave's. I'm going to take half this heel of the Dave's bread. A little piece because I don't eat a lot of bread. Wow. That's different. That's really good. I'm surprised. Wow. I'm going to have potatoes too in there somewhere. Y'all. 
Dredge it a little bit of buttermilk. Dredge it some seasoned flour. We cooked a little small potatoes too. I'm yeah. sorry. The seasoned flour was basically half seasoned because we love that shit. A little bit of smoked paprika to add a little different kick to it. Oh my god, that's. And we have a little bit of Mexican corn too, so. Absolutely perfect. But you gotta put blue cheese on your steak. Yeah, I mean, if 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 you don't like blue cheese, we won't make fun of you much. That and a little bit of a jalapeno. But blue it. cheese and beef just they work. They just work. Mom and dad are in there, y'all being really quiet because we're filming, but they're going to be in here eating in a minute. So. Mm -hmm. mm. The next one we're going to do at your house, right? Back on the patio? Yes. Y'all, uh, yeah, little update. And my dad don't know how to be quiet. I bet you if he was told that you can't be quiet for five minutes and I give you $1,000, he couldn't pull it off. I hope not because I ain't got $1,000. <laughs> I, mean, I got 10 I'm waiting for him to say something. But, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be back on the Grillio soon. The Grillio is in good shape. Man, that's really good with blue cheese. The screen room is not. But it's all going to get repaired. Hope all of y'all are doing safe after Sally. Let's all uh, say together we don't want this next storm. No later. shit. It's supposed to be here like Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not coming here. I, uh, I sent in a request to... Did you put a hex uh, on it? Zuckerberg from Facebook, you know, he'll, he'll make it change paths. Don't even go there, man. Yeah. Don't even go there. <laughs> anyway. What are we calling this one? We're going to call this one steak and surprise fried stuff. I know, because I just thought, hey, let's fry some bread. Yeah. Steak and surprise fried stuff. It's really good. Y'all be safe. Be Hang good. On. I got to stand up so I can turn this thing off. Get you a flat top. Yeah. Blackstone. Get you some steaks. Um, bacon, I, I don't even need to tell you what bacon is. Yep. So this is a uh, Sunday steak and fried stuff. There we go. Peace out. Yep. Little button over here where you can watch another video. Little button over here where you can subscribe. Touch our dangling. Bye. Bye.